Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. As we can see here, we have our trucks rolling into the machines factory that we worked on in the last video, hoping to get our machines, uh, machine production up to the level required for the cargo hub. So, in this video, we're going to be sort of working along the, sa the same lines as what we did last video. Um, pretty much getting everything here ready to fully support the map. However, over here at the steel mill, we are really starting to push the upper limits of how much we can produce, and we're also sort of starting to reach the limits of how much traffic we can have coming through here at any given moment. So even though it seems like we mainly need planks at the moment, we do have quite a few areas around here where we can draw those planks from. We have an area here, we have this area which hasn't even been touched yet if we need to use it, and we have this area over here which is where we're currently getting our planks from. However, we're only getting our steel from this steel mill here, and this is the only steel mill that is currently running on the map, and it's supplying both this machines factory and this goods factory. And taking a look here, uh, this goods factory is even starting to run low on steel at some points, so the sort of longevity of this steel mill is definitely getting close to its limits and we need to think about where we're going to start making steel uh, elsewhere to help supplement those supply chains. So I think the area that we're going to get steel coming in next is in this steel mill here at sort of a midpoint on this mountain uh, that we have sort of right in the middle of the map. And I think we're finally going to start drawing resources from these two industries that are sort of plopped in the middle of this mountain range, uh, right about here. Now the reason that we're going to be using this steel mill is it's a good distance away from this one, however if we need to we can still connect it up to existing lines or connections that are over here, so again we could still supplement this machines factory or this goods factory from this one as it isn't terribly far away despite being almost across the map but this also helps us bring up some industries over here if we uh, want to get steel made on this side of the map for example right here we have a goods factory that we could maybe think about connecting up to in the future and right here next to Albuquerque we have a machines factory that might actually be useful if we can set everything up correctly. So definitely the hardest part about setting up this line is figuring out what mode of transportation we want to use here. Uh, really the only way out of this little uh, divot where these industries are is right through here. However this is a very steep slope so we'd probably have to follow this ridge along and slowly descend until we get down to the steel mill and really our two options when it comes to moving them between those two industries is either by truck or by train now the only reason that I'm sort of maybe not totally sold on using trucks is both of these industries are right here so we might try to condense them to one stop and then have a line come out and bring it over to the steel mill in one trip instead of having two separate uh, routes coming from each industry down to the steel mill. However, that is an option. If we did trucks, we could bring the coal down this way and then the iron maybe try to fit it in somewhere here. But it would also be very efficient if we brought them to a central station somewhere here and then use the train to somehow get it over to this steel mill. 
So much similar to what we do with the machines factory, let's just see if it would even be possible to get a set of tracks that could be appropriately sloped down to the steel mill. So we'll pretty much just make a straight line, something like this, or maybe even more like this. And we can see that slope isn't terrible. It's very steep, and this is a straight line, so whatever we do make will probably not be as steep since it won't be as direct. So I think it might be worth giving a train a shot, and it'll really help us fill out this whole area here which I think would look really cool sort of tucked in the middle of these mountains. So let's start off by setting up our main area in here. I think we'll probably go with about this elevation and we'll flatten out a nice area that we can use to place our stations. So I think first obviously we need to get a cargo station in here and we'll make this one very long since That'll probably be the train. We'll probably have a very long train since we'll be carrying both the resources. And so we'll just place that here and add a road so we can do something like that. And then we can find what kind of truck station we want in here. And since it'll really only be a drop off for the most part, we don't need it to be huge in terms of storage capacity, but we could still make it look pretty interesting um, for it having a bunch of trucks unloading iron and coal. So I think we'll go with this uh, truck station, and what's good about this is that we'll be able to add a few things in here to really bring it to life when it comes to some of the iron and coal assets, we can sort of make it look like there's mounds of that sort of getting dumped off and piled up over here where it'll get transferred over to this train station then. All right, so after adding some larger buildings to this train station for capacity reasons, um, I think we're ready to first connect these industries by road to our central area here and then we can begin detailing each one of these. So for this coal mine, well, let's try to wind this road down the hill. So we'll try to do something like that. We'll bring it around this way and then see if maybe we can get a nice clean connection like so. All right, so we have this road connected. It's not pretty with the landscape, but we'll be coming back and making it look much nicer. So then the next area, we can come to this iron ore mine and we'll upgrade this road. And then I think we'll pretty much just drag this around and slowly have it raise up and then pretty much just connect it like that. So this road's much flatter and I'm pretty okay with that. So now let's smooth a lot of this area out. We'll blend the roads into the landscape quite nicely. All right, so now that we have the terrain pretty blended for what we want for now, Let's get into detailing each of these areas. So let's start with this coal mine. And first of all, we're gonna have to figure out where we want our truck stop to be. So we have this little space here that we just flattened out real quick. And I think this will be where they connect up. We'll have the dirt road here and dirt road for the in and out. We can bring this down to one terminal. And then we could probably just fit this somewhere 
right around here, but let's make it a little bit longer. So we'll connect this up just like that, right there. That doesn't look awful. We'll have to do some blending to make it look better. But next, I think we can get into filling in a little bit of this area and maybe a second level up here to bring the coal mine area to life. So first I think we're going to want to set up our roads that are going to be running through this little industry that we'll be creating. So we'll come here, we'll grab our dirt roads, and I think we could probably start somewhere around here. Go like that, and then at some point we'll start raising up, probably right around here. We can bring that pretty much right to here, and then we'll level it off. And then what that allows us to do then is come into our terrain tool, and then we can select this height, and this will carve out a little spot up here that we can use for a little extra space. All right, and then the next thing I think we're gonna do is pretty much just paint this whole area uh, dirt, as it's pretty much what it's all going to be as we come through here. We'll try not to erase too much of what's in here. I guess we accidentally already did that, so we'll have to come back through and repaint some of the industry. But a lot of the area where we'll be having our assets placed will just turn into dirt. And we'll come back through and as we do the finer details we can add some more stuff like the the coal and maybe a little bit of grass every here and there. But I think that looks pretty good. So I think we'll start off around this station area since that might be the easiest thing to do. And we might actually turn these roads to dirt just so it's a bit easier to blend with this station since we made these roads also dirt. And then we'll grab our terrain tool, lower the brush size and the strength, and I think we'll build up a little mound of coal right here. And then maybe we'll get a little bit back here as well. Alright, so we'll have those mounds of coal there. And I think we might come in and find some coal in here as well. And we'll have those lined up along the back side here. And so that's what this is going to look like for now. We'll go through and add some buildings and then see what else needs some adjustments or finishing touches. Alright, so I think this is what the buildings themselves are going to look like. Um, the mining industries are a little hard to work with since, first of all, for the coal mine, we don't get these, uh, tracks for the cars. I mean, we can actually probably just place some standard tracks, but that gets a little hard to blend. However, it might not look terrible if we can do it correctly. Alright, so we tried to get the tracks to work, but you really just can't turn them sharp enough to really get it to work. You can do stuff like this if you get it to just snap to the roads, but they get really hard to do um, over a larger scale. So we'll just sort of leave what we did here. We can sort of have some of these pop out like this. and. Maybe if we come in here and grab sort of these garage doors, it might actually not look too awful or unrealistic that these could be tracks for minecarts coming out of these buildings. So we'll leave it as that. And really, I think all that's left is fixing the terrain and finer details and getting uh, some of the smaller assets placed around here.
All right, so I think this is what we're going to leave the coal mine area off as. Uh, we have sort of these storage buildings and storage area right around where the station is. I think looks pretty nice. We have these big trucks here that would be driving around and moving stuff. And then we have the actual mining area itself sort of just sprawling around uh, the hill here. So with this area complete, let's now move on to the iron ore mine. And we might not make this one too huge. We might just add a few buildings sort of off to the side here, and then maybe a station right here. Uh, as this iron mine looks pretty good as it is, just as sort of the base industry. But let's come in and first erase all of this so we can see what we're doing. Come in with our flatten tool and we'll flatten out a nice area right next to the industry. All right, so I think this is going to be the groundwork for how we detail this area. We'll just add a few buildings, maybe some storage area here, and then right over here, I think is where our uh, truck station for this iron mine is going to be. All right, so here's the rough layout that we're gonna have for this new area we have sort of the storage building and then over here more of the mining area which I think over here is pretty much complete for the most part we'll just need to add some area uh, some stuff to the storage area and then fence it in and then I think we're good to place our truck station and then probably connect up our train tracks to the steel mill I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything running yet in this episode but We'll definitely get everything connected. All right, and now I think this area is pretty much done up how we want it. We have our storage area, and then right over here, we have our little mining area. And I think that looks pretty good for what we want. I think the only thing we'll do quick is toss in some lights here and here, and then Maybe just one sort of placed right in the middle of this area over here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's now grab our buildings and I think we can pretty much have this connect up about here. We will change the road types to these and the ground type to asphalt. I think for this one we'll give it a platform. We'll give it a low platform. And then get that placed just like so. Alright, so this whole area is flattened and smoothed out. And I think I'm pretty happy with this, so we can pretty much just leave this now and figure out our train connection. So now that we're down here by the steel mill, let's come in with our flatten tool again, raise this up a good bit and flatten out pretty much all of this area. So we'll do that and we'll delete most of this road as I wanna get our train station in here. So we'll probably need a lot of space for that. So we'll connect like that and then bring it over like so. And this should allow us then to get this train station placed right at the bottom of the hill here. We'll give it four tracks since we'll probably anticipate uh, moving some steel out most likely by train in the future. So I think that works out pretty well. Let's now figure out how we're going to connect these tracks. So based on how we place this station, I think the way that we're going to end up doing this is bringing the tracks out this way, and then we'll probably have to bridge over this road and enter into the mountain somewhere over here, where we'll go underground and pretty much just pop out right here. I would like to keep us above ground more, but there really isn't a way with how steep these slopes are. 
I think it'd be really cool if we get some could get something to come up and over this way, but I just don't think that's really possible unless we did it by truck, which even then that get pretty hard in this area here. So let's just continue on with our tracks and so we're gonna wanna bring it over like so. We'll try to keep this flat. And then as we said before, we're gonna wanna bridge over this. But let's set ourselves up with a slightly better angle. So I think if we do this and we figure out what kind of uh, bridge we want here, I think we'll go with these uh, steel bridges. I think that looks pretty cool. We'll bring it over like that. And then pretty much right about here, we can start to go down. And hopefully it's just as simple as doing that. We can see here, we can get down as low as we can and it doesn't really seem to have too much elevation change. So we might try to keep this bridge flat uh, until we get to land, which would probably be about here. So we can just do that. And then from here over to the steel mill, it looks like we're able to just drag those tracks over. And let's just make sure we're connecting the right side. We can connect up just like so. So then we'll bring the second set of tracks around like this and then connect up to the station all the way down here and it looks like we'll be able to do that just fine where then we can drag this in and create our crossover so now we have our crossover there let's get our crossover up here Hopefully we can get this to work with the curvature of this track. Sometimes it gets a little hard to build, but it looks like we'll be able to get that in just fine. We'll plop in our signals, and we'll get those going periodically throughout this line. We'll most likely be running multiple trains, probably two to three trains, I'd say, uh, going back and forth. So that'll be the end of our signals like that. And then let's just get the vehicles running. They're obviously not gonna be transporting anything, but we can still get the vehicles prepared. So then I think at the beginning of the next episode, we can connect this up to the machines factory and then uh, detail this steel mill. So first we'll need a road depot which we could place pretty easily right next to our truck station. And then as for our train, we can get a train depot placed pretty much parallel with the tracks like so, and then bring that straight out and curve it around so it then connects with these tracks. So for the coal, we'll be transporting them with these dump trucks. And let's get, uh, let's go six of these trucks for now. We'll see how that ends up working later on, but we can do that. Specify just coal and here it'll unload everything. And then the Iron route is slightly longer, so I think we'll get seven trucks, and those will run from this station up to this one. So as for our train, we'll go with uh, this diesel engine that we used in the last video, and we'll only go with this many gondola cars behind it. We'll actually get, bring it up by one, and we'll start out with just one train for now. So then this will run from our train station up in the mountains and end off down here. Now we want to make sure that it carries an equal amount of iron and coal. So 
I believe all we have to do is lower this to 50% for each. So only 50% of the train will be full with either one of these at any time, which if they're both filled up 50% with coal and iron ore, that should be the full train loaded, pretty much split equally in half. So now we can see that train coming out. Unfortunately, we won't see it uh, move any goods, but I think this is a great stopping point for this video. So with that, that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.